Well, good morning again, YouTube. Same day, same channel. Half fast, 719. Anyway, got the Dodge in here, or the Ram, whatever you want to call these stupid things. Um, got it in here, got the garage floor all cleaned up. Uh, I did accidentally put the hood on. Project crack pipe. Uh, just to protect the engine. Got something covering the motor and everything. Um, so yeah, so I gotta start and tear this whole truck apart. I'm putting in the engine. Gonna install this engine uh, today. I'm planning on doing it in about three hours. Ah, just kidding. I'm always kidding. Anyway, ain't nothing wrong with this engine. So I gotta, I gotta take all this crap off. I gotta take the bank stuff off. Uh, the EGR deletes over there, the PCV breather over there, and uh, sw and swap everything back in. Oh jeez, <laughs> I almost fell. I'm always almost falling on this thing. I need to throw this stupid thing away. So yeah, that's gonna be fun. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get started on this. I'm not really gonna do a how-to video or anything. Um, just basically. Uh, probably, I'll probably lay out the parts of what has to go back in here. I'll probably lay them all out here. So, uh, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And then, yeah. Um, it's really not that hard. It's just a lot of trying to remember where everything goes. Um, I should... Um... I don't know if I'm going to keep this box in here or just put it back to stock just so that they don't cry uh, at the smog place, remissions place. Because I think, like I said, I think I said it on the video yesterday or the previous video that I will be uh, probably registering it out here. I'm just going to bite the bullet. Um, the amount of money it's going to cost me to drive to Colorado, drive back. So let's just say it's 150 bucks, which it won't be. It'll probably be like two hundred dollars there two hundred dollars back plus food uh... plus the emissions is eighty bucks or eighty five bucks out there and then registrations about three three hundred three fifty i think so we're looking at about six seven hundred bucks just for me to drive the truck out there to register it and drive it back whereas here it's probably gonna cost me like eleven hundred bucks um, i'll have to go to the uh, I'm going to go AAA, do a uh, VIN verification through them. Hopefully they could do it. I'm sure they can because they did it on my trailer. I'll have to put in my wife's name because uh, I have a Colorado license. And I don't think they'll let me register it out here uh, if I have a, California, or a Colorado license. So I will be putting it in her, in her name. I'll probably have to go get it weighed, which is like 20 bucks. 1100 bucks to register it and 50 bucks to smog it out here. Um, so, and then I believe after this year in Colorado, I will have to do emissions every year, not every other year like it is right now. I think anything over, I think it's 15 years or something like that, 10 years, maybe it's seven years. I can't really remember. Whatever it is, I think this year for in 2020, the next registration, I'll start. I have to start doing emissions every year in Colorado. Um, they're pretty strict out there. They're more strict than out here. Out here in California, it's just a visual inspection and a computer uh, test. They just plug the truck in out there. They stick it on a dyno. They run it on like a 12,000 foot grade somehow uh, on a dyno. Anyway, they just load it up, make the truck load up and roll coal as much as it can to see if it'll if it, a laser will pass through, uh, if the emissions coming out of the exhaust, if the laser can see the mirror or however it works. Anyway, so I'm just going to do it out here. Just bite the bullet. I sold the Acura. I got money uh, that I can spend and I won't have to drive out there. I can reschedule my flight to like January or something. So when I go back out on the road and uh, yeah, other plans, other plans, other plans. <clears throat> always planning but anyway I'm gonna get started on this um, and then uh, yeah I'll have to do the whole exhaust 
um, from Turbo Back. Hopefully, hopefully, it comes out, comes off really nice and easy. Um, I don't do the whatever that's called, crossing fingers or crap, but uh, whatever superstitious stuff. But anyway, um, hopefully, it comes out. And yeah, so I'm gonna get started on this beast. And uh, I'll probably fall at least four or five times with this stupid stand. I have chucked this stand, this little step stool. Maybe I'll go in the house and steal the wife's step stool. So anyway, I'm going to get started. And I'll lay all the parts out. Show you guys what the parts look like. Uh, probably right here. Alright, here we go. I got most of it laid out. So EGR cooler. EGR crap. So more EGR crap. Some more EGR crap. I think that's actual EGR. This stupid thing. Uh, whatever. And then uh, I got new gaskets. I ordered these new gaskets a year and a half ago. Um, because these gaskets under here, under these block off plates, they leak. That one back there was leaking. If you watch an old video when I first got this truck, you'll see that it, uh, would whistle so anyway uh, yeah I got a cover for it all these parts so everything goes in this con all this stuff besides the air box goes in this container and then I have the axle over the axle I got that and then in here in this big tote I got all the cats and the DPF and all the sensors and then uh, those are the lines that go all the way. So, anyway, got to get started. I'll be back. I'll show you guys once it's all done. I'm going to start with taking this junk off. Well, not junk. I'm going to start with taking this awesome off and putting that junk on. So, alright, I'll be back. Alright, guys. Welcome back. Uh, not really to the channel, but a little update. Did finish up this junk here so anywho onto the exhaust I got the EGR cooler everything's on everything's attached all the coolant's good um, this is all the coolant that came out just this little bit it's it's not that nasty the nastiness was in the bucket so so far this is about all I got off uh, the banks thing and air filter box. It's pretty much in this uh, delete kit, which is the blocks and the hose that goes to the coolant stuff and the brackets. And then that I'm not using. So. I'm gonna go down and uh, under the truck and start doing the exhaust. I gotta unbolt the tranny. Well, not unbolt the tranny, but the cross member, so I can drop it all down. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna start doing it while I, while the sun's still out. And look at Project Crack Pipe. Thing looks pretty sweet out here. Alright, guys, I'm gonna get to it. I gotta get this truck done. Oh, also. Uh, yeah, I need a gasket right inside there. I ended up just cutting a piece of, uh, this to make a gasket just to move the truck. I, I do have the gaskets on order at AutoZone, and, uh, they will be, I'll be having those tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, so, anyway, stay tuned for, or not stay tuned, but I'm gonna go throw the exhaust on. It's a little kitty cat. Little Black Panther. All right, I'll be back. Well, good morning, guys. It's the next morning. Uh oh, we got an Audi parked in the garage. What the heck? Doesn't feel that cold. Anyway, uh, got all the exhaust and everything off. Some big old exhaust. Um, got the truck all done. Oh, back to the stock, the exhaust. Everything's back to the way it was. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see under here. But 
get all the exhaust crap all the way down. Anyway, sounds real quiet. There is a uh, tube on the engine. That was a pain in my butt. It fought me for about three, three hours yesterday. That's why I didn't really film this part of the video. Because uh, it said my uh, exhaust pressure sensor was low. Um, and it is... Let's see if I can even get to it. I'll show you on this motor. So it is that pipe right there, that whatever gold pipe that goes all the way up to the sensor. Yeah. That one here on this motor is clear. Um, it's free flowing all the way through. I should have just taken this one off and put it on there. But that one on the truck, I fought it for literally three hours of uh, just shoving a welding wire in there, brake cleaner. Um, you can see this is, this is some of it. Once it got cleared up, it shot all this black stuff. It shot all the way from, this is where I was working on it, right here. Um, just poking it, poking it. There's some welding, rock, some welding wire. And it's just it was just so gummed up with soot. Um, I just kept putting it through, putting it through, and then finally when when it unclogged, it shot all the way out there. It actually shot all the way out. Um, here, um, I did see some, some chunks or something over here, but I don't know, whatever. But anyway, that's going to be end of the, the end of this video. It's like four different parts, five different parts of this video. Just to turn the truck back to stock to do emissions. And uh, today I gotta go somewhere. Um, I gotta go get some parts from AutoZone, the gasket for that truck. And I think I'm gonna come home and I'm gonna start cutting this bed up. So stay tuned for that. Project Crack Pipe PCP is on his way. It's on his way. Looks pretty cool out there. Looks pretty cool. Do a little walk around for you. Anyway, not much to it. Hopefully it'll be clear today. Um, but anyway, gotta go. I gotta get ready. Gotta upload some videos. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.